but you're here completely naked in front I of all am. our crew and, and everyone here. I am, and with and my message, Brexit leaves Britain naked. Yeah, unfortunately, we've had to blur that, but written <laughs> on her naked body <laughs> is Brexit leaves Britain naked. And so there you go. And Henry Newman, director of the Open Europe Think Tank, no, is here too. Not naked. So, <laughs> shall we cut to the chase? Why is being naked so important? So, as an economist, I'm used to using words and equations in order to make an argument. And on the run-up run up to the referendum, I must have penned thousands of words looking at how Brexit would be bad for Britain. But I also know when I think about my own thoughts and feelings about big issues, not just Brexit, that I'm affected by much more than words alone. Mm. That there is a power in going beyond words. If we think about, for example, art generally, the power of film, the power of TV, the power of fashion, the power of the visual. So I thought what I would do is condense down all of those thousands of words into a single simple message that Brexit leaves Britain. Well, it's, a visual, it's a visual metaphor. Uh, and you did it famously last week on the Today Show. But un unlike here, where we, we've known for hours that this was going to happen, so, you know, we've, been, we, yes, we've girded prepared. our loins, as it were. Um, jo John Humphreys, uh, the presenter, was completely taken aback because you went in in a coat, didn't you? I did go in a coat. You decided yes. to shock them with it. <laughs> Do you think they wouldn't have let you on if you'd uh, said that you were coming on with nothing? Oh, I, I don't think that's true. I mean, there was nothing illegal about it. It's, it's, no. it's perfectly fine to be in a studio like that. I don't think I think it's out of character for me, so no. I don't think um, a radio show or a TV show would invite me on no. um, if they um, if they were averse to to, 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 to me removing my my clothes. Mm. Well, I must so, say, as the only so, male presenter here, I'm, I have to say that it, I don't find it at all shocking. It's unusual. Right. It's a Good. bit strange, Good. but it's not shocking or. Or I got really a bit of a little bit. We shocking. all have a I think it is a little bit shocking. I think we way? don't well, we don't see yeah. naked people who aren't close to us, our children or close right. family members very often, do well, we? Well, I so, don't know. I think we see naked women actually around us all the time. We see them scantily clad in advertising. There's a whole world of pornography out there. If you go to any art gallery in the UK or across the world, you will see nudes on the walls. But the, the common thing about all of those women is they're silent. Mm. Mm. They're not allowed a voice. So I think what is shocking, perhaps to some people, is a woman who is naked with a voice. Well, our main using problem, her this, body our main problem this morning was where to put the microphone. Exactly. But <laughs> Unlike the Today programme, which is radio, yes. uh, we, we are a, a television show, so everybody yes. gets to see it too. So people will be tuning in. in here. They'll be seeing you that you are naked, even though they can't see yeah. some of your body parts that, we, for decency, we've, we've yeah. covered up. Uh, what would you like them to be thinking? I, well, the key message that I really have to deliver is that Brexit is the Emperor's new clothes, that what high-profile Brexiteers promised Brexit voters is just not possible to deliver. Mm. The British economy faces many, many problems right now. Shortage of housing, problems with the NHS, wages stagnating, mm. too many people up and down the country using right. food banks. But the European Union is not the cause of those problems. So how is it going to help us? How is Brexit going to help us mm. solve those problems that are at the heart of our daily struggles. So, up that, and down so that's Britain. that's the that's mm. the detailed message behind the stunt, basically. Right. Uh, before we, we we come to this gentleman on my right here, who's uh, seems very calm. Um, <laughs> essentially, people have said that you're an exhibitionist. John Humphrey said this right. is just pure exhibitionism. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking I'm looking at our Twitter feed. A lot of people are saying the same thing. She's I've just an exhibitionist. It. I've heard it many times on Twitter, and my answer is no. I am not an exhibitionist. I am a woman comfortable in my own body in control of my body, who is happy to use my body for, um, in order to deliver an important message about the most important issue facing mm. Britain in a whole generation, to raise concerns about this entire Brexit project. Why should I, as a woman, only be able to use my body for sex and babies? Mm. Why shouldn't I also be able <coughs> to use my body to deliver an important tell you what message? I, I, I feel is that it is quite distracting. <laughs> you're naked. And women have fought for a long time yes. for their words to be heard. Yes. And you're now distracting them with your naked body. Do you feel conflicted so by that? I, I understand that point. And mm. to be honest, 10 years ago, I would never have dreamed of doing anything like this. And actually, if you see me on a day when I'm not protesting, I always dress quite modestly. And I was brought up to believe that as a woman, if you reveal too much of your body, that people will lose respect for you. People will not listen to you. People will view you, view you as stupid, view you as trashy. And I think that 
is that 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 idea that women who reveal their body are trashy and stupid okay. has to be challenged. As we okay. s as we can see with our own eyes, you are fully frontally naked. <laughs> I mean, you are completely yes. naked. There's not a stitch on you, and that's yeah. that's blatantly obvious to those of us <laughs> sitting in the same studio. How would you feel if it was uh, a man doing this? If I... there was a, a man sitting there with absolutely nothing on, we could see all I his have... tackle and all of that. I mean, do you think that no would be problem. reasonable? I have no problem at all with um, with nudity. Um, whoever is wh whoever is nude, I have no problem, and I think that we should all be free to do what we want with our own bodies. And and I think there okay. is a sense. All right, thank you, Henry. Um, what's, Just what's because you're own... clothed, we do want to hear yeah. your view. By the way, you can unbutton a couple of <laughs> shirt buttons if you like. <laughs> no, but seriously, I mean, actually. It's working to the extent that she's had a lot of coverage in the press after the Today incident last week. Mm. She's had the lion's share of the interview, actually, now we think about mm. it, so we better get to you quickly. Mm. What's, your, what's your overall take on I it? I think it's a, it's a bit of a stunt. Ultimately, I could take my clothes off and we could all then discuss my nudity, but, but we're, I think it's a serious issue here. Brexit, it obviously a, a very important issue. question facing the country, mm. but it seems to me that it's not something that we're not discussing. We've been discussing very little else for the last mm. two and a half years other than this basic question of shall we leave the European Union or not? And ultimately, I haven't heard a single new argument today. The, all these arguments were made back in 2016 that the, the economic risks of leaving, we went round and round but and round has in circles. the stunt drawn new focus to it? That's the question. Do you I think, think people might to think honest, again? Kind of, Why I'm, is it embarrassing, I mean, Henry? What I'm, is embarrassing about a woman's body? What is embarrassing <laughs> about a woman being comfortable and confident in uh, her no, own absolutely skin? Absolutely nothing is embarrassing about that, and it's, it's lovely for you if you want to be naked in, in any situation, but I think these are serious questions, mm. and I don't think it's actually serious to... To it portray is them serious, in this way. and I'll tell you also. Well, hang on, you had a good run. Let me just get a few more <laughs> yeah. questions to you. What do you think about the, the the flip side of this? What if it was a man who was mm. completely naked? Do you think that it would be exhibitionism? Do you think it would be, in some odd sexist way, more more shocking potentially? But I just I don't think there's really the issue. I think we're getting sucked into a kind of a publicity stunt uh, which is designed to attract attract attention from actually a substantive issue. Do you think she's an exhibitionist? I don't know. I mean, I think she's a very nice person who's, who, who believes what she's saying very passionately, and I respect that, and I respect her right to do, to protest in this way, but I don't think it's actually advancing the conversation has, at all. Has anyone contacted you, Victoria, and said, do you know what? You make a good point. I've changed my mind. What kind of reaction have you had? So I've had a complete mixed bag of reaction. I mean, I've had a lot of vile messages, as you can imagine. I have had thousands of messages calling me trashy, calling me stupid. But I've also had messages of support. Mm. Um, I did have... About Brexit? Um, a, a, about, about, about being both naked? Being comfortable in your own body, about using your body to make a political... Um, point to deliver a political message. Has anyone important changed their mind message. on the basis of this? Well, to be honest, Nobody's when, 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 I to to stage, to when I took to the stage in January and I stood naked with this message and mm. I talked for 32 minutes flat, explaining the message in some Well, let's just remind viewers who I'm can't, who can't read it because we've had to pixelate um, and, and shoot carefully. Mm. I mean, you, across this part, which we probably could show, it says Brexit. Brexit. And then above your right breast, it says leaves. leaves. And above your left breast, it says Britain. And then under your both breasts, it yeah. says naked. So Brexit leaves Britain naked. But it's beautifully um, written in capitals. Who wrote it? Oh, I look in a mirror. It's very easy You did easy it yourself in the mirror? Yes. Do you know, yeah. if, you want to, if you want to take a little footage, bit of footage of me writing this on my body, go, go ahead. It it's very easy to do. I wonder if there is an element in the world that we live in now where if uh, John Humphreys had been a woman mm -hmm. and you'd been a man mm -hmm. and you had shocked him mm -hmm. by taking your clothes off, whether it would have felt rather threatening and whether people would have viewed it very differently. So I think you have to think about the historical context of this and that is that for centuries, women's bodies have been under the control of men that women haven't been free to use their bodies for their own purposes. And I think my, my ideal society, where I think we should be heading, is to a world in which every woman is free to do what What's she wants with her own body. Because fundamentally, the, the thing that ties my, my reservations about Brexit and my feminism is freedom, a belief mm. in individual freedom. And some of my key concerns about Brexit are the way in which we've been told... Many people voted to leave because they wanted to, uh, we were told, freedom to control their destinies. Right, OK, so we were told that we could take that control, but what will happen? We no longer have the freedom to make the most of our lives, to be able to work across Europe, to be right. able to form personal relationships and, and with so, people and from so the beyond well our own arguments shores. go on, but finally, do you see yourself as a kind of modern-day Lady Godiva? Who did exactly the same thing for pretty much the same reasons. So, um, 
I, I'm, I'm perfectly comfortable using my body. I think that Brexit is a big issue. I'm doing this seriously. I'm doing it to deliver a serious message. And you've seriously challenged Jacob Rees-Mogg to debate with you. Mm -hmm. um, would, are you requiring him to be naked or do you <laughs> want him to accept you <laughs> naked? Well, because we're happy to offer what? that challenge to him this morning, but we want to be clear well, about what you would like. Yes, well, I think it is the Brexiteers who should be wearing the Emperor's new clothes and not a Remainer like me. But that I perfectly understand if he, if, if he claims that he doesn't have a double breasted birthday suit, why he may wish to wear a normal suit. I'm happy to debate it with him, but I will insist on wearing the Emperor's new clothes that are okay. Brexit. Okay.